Number 33, this figure here shows a 0.3 kilogram baseball just before and just after it collides with a bat, just before the ball has a velocity v1 of magnitude 12 meters per second and angle theta1 equals to 35 degrees, just after it is traveling directly upward with velocity v2 of magnitude 10 meters per second. The duration of the collision is 2 milliseconds. What are letter A, the magnitude, and letter B, the direction relative to the positive direction of the x-axis of the impulse on the ball from the bat? What are the letter C, magnitude, and letter D, direction of the average force on the ball from the bat? So the ball is coming from this direction, it hits the bat, and then it goes upwards. So our strategy here is to use the relation between the impulse and the change in the linear momentum. Okay, so that's the main equation that we are going to use. And let's just remember that we can rewrite the change in the linear momentum as the final momentum minus the initial momentum, which for instance can be written as the mass times the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So if we can find the vector that describes the final and the initial velocities, we can find the impulse. So that's our strategy here. So the first thing that we're going to do is to write the is to write vector 1 and vector 2 in unit vector form. We only have their magnitude and the angle, so we have to make some decomposition in order to find their value. So V2, which is the final velocity, it's really easy because the final velocity points to the J direction. So it is going to be 10 in the J direction, meters per second. So that's vector V2. And vector V1, we have to make some decomposition over here. So we have one V, sorry, V1 well, x direction that's one of the components and the other component is V1 y so V1 x is equal to the magnitude of V1 times the cosine of the angle and we have to add a, ne a negative sign because it points to the negative direction of the x axis so minus over here. As for the v1 y, this is going to be minus as well because it points in the negative direction of the y direction. The magnitude of the vector times the sine of the angle. So in this case, this is going to be minus 12 times the cosine of 35 degrees and this is equal to roughly 9.8 meters per second negative right and in this case it's minus 12 times the sine of 35 degrees which leads us to mon roughly minus 6.9 meters per second so those are the velocities for vector v1 so now we can write v1 which is equal to minus 9.8 in the i direction, minus 6.9 in the j direction. Don't forget to add the unit, which is meters per second. Okay, so now we can find our vector j, the impulse. So the impulse is equal to 0 0.3, which is the mass of the ball, which multiplies the first vector, so 10j, minus. See that we have a minus sign here and a minus sign here and here. That's why we're going with a positive sign because minus minus equals to plus 9.8 in the i direction plus 6.9 in the j direction. And this is equal to 0 0.3, which multiplies 
in the i direction plus 16.9 uh, in the j direction so we have to multiply by the mass over here and this will give us two point roughly 2.9 in the i direction plus 5 in the 5.1 in, in the j direction and the unit here is newton second so that's our impulse vector for letter a we don't want the vector we want the magnitude of the vector so the only thing that we have to do is to take the square root of each component squared so 2.9 squared plus 5.1 squared and this will gives us roughly uh, let's see this view gives us roughly 5.86 Newton seconds so that's the answer of letter A for letter let's see this little bit here so for letter B we want the direction and the direction can be calculated using the tangent to the minus 1 of the y component of the vector over the x component of the vector if you want to make sure that you got the correct answer you, you can just draw this vector over here so it's just a sketch so this vector over here is a little bit to the right and some more to the top so the vector is something like this and we want to find this angle here so the value of this angle is equal to the tangent to the minus one of the y component over the x component so tangent to the minus 1 of 5.1 divided by 2.9 and this should give us roughly 59.8 degrees so that's the answer of letter B for letter C we want the magnitude and the direction of the average force on the ball from the bat so we have a relation between the impulse and the average force which is this one over here so if we want the average force we just have to divide the momentum by delta t so the average force is equal to j over delta t so this is going to be 5.86 divided by 2 milliseconds which is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 3 and this will give us roughly 2.93 times 10 to the third newtons so that's the answer of letter C for letter D we just have to notice that the impulse can also be calculated using this equation over here so this is just for the average force this is for any force any time so the thing here is that you can notice that the direction of the vector j is the same direction of the vector f so the average force will point to the same direction as the impulse vector so the answer for letter d is the same as this one over here so 59.8 degrees and that's it